welcome everybody, this is Danny Code, and we're going to play a little Nimbatus today, the Space Drone Constructor game. And I did play a little bit of this game so far, and I really, really, really like it, so I wanted to maybe do a little introductory series on the channel here. I don't know how far we're going to get into it, but I wanted to show you guys and see if you guys like it, and uh, yeah, so there we are. Anyways, so before this video, I did go through the basic tutorials here. So we got battle, or basic movement, battle, advanced building, resource gathering, and also these as well. So if you guys aren't familiar with the game and you get the game, I suggest you go through those. It's a lot of good information. All right, so we'll just jump right in. And as you can see, I did a little bit of a little bit of a playthrough, like a little first few missions or so. Didn't really get too far into it, but. We're going to start a whole brand new game here, and we'll keep everything as is, except that we will start with the tutorial, just to make sure that we got everything straight. And let's see what we want to name this. So maybe we'll go with uh, our naming scheme here, 002, and stick a YT at the end of there for YouTube. <laughs> there we go. So I know that's what that is. All right. So, all right. So let's just start. And welcome. Thank you very much. The desire to explore new territories is written deep down in the DNA of mankind. And so, after the conquest of the vast oceans, people found a way up to the stars. The Russian satellite Sputnik in 1957, the man-moon landing of Apollo 11 by 1969, the colonization of Mars in 2071. I'm glad we got there sometime and the first successful travel through a wormhole in 2120 were all crucial milestones in the history of space exploration. Neat. But none of these were as promising as what lies ahead of us. The Nimbatus, the biggest mobile drone factory ever made, is finally ready to be sent out into space. With its one-of-a-kind hyperspace warp drive and self-sustaining resource gathering systems, it is able to leave the safe zone within seconds. All right. This is where you, Captain, come into play. You are tasked with commanding the Nimbatus and designing drones to explore the endless expanses, expanses of the universe so that mankind may learn from your discoveries. It's an honor to have you on board. Thank you very much. Fasten your seatbelt. The Nimbatus is ready for takeoff. All right, that was pretty cool. So, you were attacked by the corporation, or the corp, as it is there, an unscrupulous intergalactic tech company. They disconnected they disconnected and stole your warp drive, Aww. leaving you stranded in a uncharted region of space. All right. You are currently in the orbit of this planet. All right, there we are. To track down the corp and retrieve your warp drive, you have to travel through the universe using these wormholes at the end of the galaxy. Cool. Noted. Your progress through the galaxy by collecting the required amounts... You, excuse me. You progress through the galaxy by collecting the required amount of intel in a solar system. All right. 
Intel is gained by completing missions on planets within that system. The amount of intel obtained from completing a mission is displayed here in the form of triangles. More challenging missions usually grant more intel. Okay, so these little triangles down here. Here you can see the mission's name, completion status, and rewards. Cool. And click this button to visit the planets. All right, I shall. All right, this is the location screen. Here you can see information about your current location. Okay. And more detailed information about the current mission. Cool. Click here to proceed to your hangar and select a drone for the mission. All right. This is your drone hangar. Since you haven't constructed any drones yet, it is currently empty. All right, so let's create a new drone. Very nice. And this is kind of bringing us to, you know, doing a little tutorial. The Tutorials at the beginning there kind of bring you through this too, or show you how to do this as well So drag thrusters and fuel tanks from the panel at the bottom onto the canvas and attach them to your drone core You can rotate parts with your mouse wheel use only available parts and Don't forget to assign a key to your thrusters to activate them. Okay When you are happy with your drone, you can test it by clicking test flights or save it by clicking save and exit in the bottom right corner of the screen. If you are having trouble, you can open. So if we're having trouble, we can go through that. The tutorials on the main screen there as well. All right, so here we are. So this is our drone center here, a drone core. And let's go ahead and put on a engine and we just kind of click and drag it. And we're kind of going in this direction here. As you can see, we have a little arrow, so that's the direction of travel. And so thrusters, so what we do here is we can actually assign a key. And it's already assigned a W because I think maybe that may be the default or the one when I was going through the tutorial, I, I assigned it to W. So I'm not really too sure about that. But the main thruster here is, is assigned to the W key. So when I hit the W key, obviously it'll, it'll thrust. And we need a way to turn as well. And I found that putting these kind of here-ish will do a good job. All right, so we definitely don't want that to be W. We want that to be, I think, D. If we're going to do the normal WASD kind of situation there. And this one, I think, should be A. I may have that backwards, so we'll test that out. But uh, but yeah, so that should be our turning and our main thrust. And we also, uh, we're gonna need some fuel tanks. So I'm just gonna put a fuel tank there and a fuel tank there. And I think we should be ready to go. Let's test it out. All right, so W thrusts. Yeah, so that's, that's correct. That's the correct configuration. So we're turning as expected with the, with the A and D keys. So yeah, so nice. And we also have, we have no gravity, so we have some options up here as well. We're not ready for enemies. We don't have any firepower, but I think we, yeah, so we can do a racetrack as well. So that's cool. Oh, <laughs> yeah, the steering is pretty good, actually. This is a pretty good configuration. Even though I'm hitting the walls, I'm kind of testing out the, uh, the thrusters here. there so I think there's up here something that we should avoid you may want to work on that a little bit so they're a little bit too touchy but that but they're good and as you can see our thruster our if we zoom in here you can see our fuel tanks will go down over time but if you stop the fuel tanks will go back up I think that is pretty much the how that goes. So let's just kind of let's try to empty out one of our fuel tanks here. Oops, I hit it. Shouldn't have done that. It doesn't seem to be going down. There it goes. So one is going down, and if we stop, that should go back up. Cool, and that's how that works. All right, I am satisfied. So let's get out of this. 
go back into our design and then we can save this our little drone droney drone here and once you have selected a drone you can click here to launch it okay go back to the workshop and improve it with this okay and let's give it a name code drone one zero zero one <laughs> sure why not all right so launch drone confirm launch and launch okay all right so our mission here is to explore the planet i guess so we have a little mini map up here to show us where we're, where we're at and it will got a little fog of war going on there so i guess we just have to to uh explore it enough so we have enough of it like a percentage wise I don't see, yeah, so we have 77.8, 77.9, 81, and I think we can go, okay, there we go, explore planet, planet complete, and then we can go back to the Nimbatus here, cool, and that's it, that's the first tutorial mission anyway, and we get some rewards, so we have a medium battery, and a kinetic blaster. I think we're going to be firing at things real, real soon here. <laughs> Congratulations on completing your first mission. You now have access, access to the next system. And there we go. Click on any uncovered location to see what awaits you there. All right, so this is the readout of the new location. You can travel to the selected location by clicking on the travel button, but be aware that traveling also increases threat level. All right, so the threat level is, from what I get, what I imagine here is that the higher the threat level, the the corp will come back and attack you again. So in this mission, you'll need to be able to shoot targets, okay? Meaning you'll either have to construct a new drone or upgrade the old drone with parts you received as rewards in the previous mission. Okay, so let's do that. Let's go ahead and edit this drone. On this mission, your drone needs to be able to shoot. To do that, attach the weapons and batteries you received in the last mission to do it. Don't forget to test in test flight before you launch it. Cool. Be aware that if you go above 10 drone parts, it will cost you a certain amount of Tritanium, there you go, the yellow ore to construct and launch your drone. All right, if you are having trouble, yeah, so that's telling us to go back to the intro tutorials if we're having trouble. All right, so I think we're only going to need, let's just do this, we're only going to need one battery here and then one gun on it. Now, from what I can tell, well, we can do two guns, I think. All right, two is better than one. And let's assign a key to that, which is left mouse button, which is perfect. And this one is also left mouse button as well. So that should, let's go and test that. That should allow us to, yeah, so fire. And I'm aiming with the, just moving the mouse around. So yeah, that works. I like it. All right. So do we want to do anything else with this? I don't think so. Now I was firing, so our battery should go back up after a while. So that's going to drain. So that should give us some more battery. Do we want to put one more? Well, we can't, so we only have zero. So we only have two parts. So we have limited parts as well. So cool. All right, so I think that works. So let's just test that out again. See if we don't need any more thrusters or whatever to get around. Yeah, it's kind of a little sluggish, so the weight is going up a little bit. But that, I think we should be okay. Yeah, I like that. Okay. Indeed. I think we, I think we have a winning design there. And... 
save it. Save, save, save. Okay. Now we can duplicate and we can export to file and we can upload the drone. So I, I would assume that on Steam or whatnot, you can download other people's uh, designs, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, so let's launch the drone and see how we do. Confirm launch drone. So this is, okay, so indicates how close the corp is to you. Highest threat can lead, high threat can lead to an attack. Okay, as I was saying. Okay, so here's the threat level, 56%. All right, so we need to locate the black box. And I think we need to, yeah, so we need to go ahead and shoot at these and destroy them and see if there's a black box in them. And it looks like we have something there. I don't know what that is. What's that? Shoot at it. Is it an enemy? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, let's get a little closer look, I think. Yeah, I think I'm just wasting my firepower here. Yeah, okay. All right, let's look for more black boxes. And we can actually, so here's caverns, by the way. And we can fly in, into these, I think, I thought. Can't we? Am I mistaken? Yeah, so there we go. So there was just something in the way. But there's nothing here, so let's turn around. Try not to damage ourselves here. All right, so let's go look for the black box. And there's another one. Let's see if it's in here. Doesn't look like there's any enemies here. There may be, so I'm on the lookout. All right, nothing in that one. Is there anything down here? So there's, oh, there's another one right there. There's a couple. So the gravity's not too high here, but as you can see, like if I just let it go, it will start going down towards the planet, but gravity's not too bad here, so. want to kind of watch it. Ah, there it is. So we got the black box. And I'm just going to explore a little bit more and see what's around here. Let's just go and see if we can't find anything else. Is there anything else to see? Maybe, maybe not. Yeah, I don't think there's any other rewards around here, but you never know. There's some... There is some resource down there, but we're not set up for mining. So that there's that yellow resource, and I think there's a red resource as well, as you can see here. But we're not set up for mining, so we can't really do anything with that. Yeah, so we can fire at it, and we can destroy it, but we won't collect it. I think we need a collector or something like that. Oops, uh-oh, am I stuck? Oh no. All right, well. <laughs> I'm stuck. So that's good though. Well, if I fire, maybe I can get unstuck. Oh, there we go. Yeah, so I think we need to modify our design here a little bit. And get some different type of thrusters and whatnot so we don't get stuck. Because that would not be good. Let's see, is there anything down here? Anything down here? Anybody down here? I just don't want to run into too many enemies if there's enemies. No, I don't think there's anything down here. I think, oh, there's some resources, but again, we can't. We cannot get those at the moment. And I think we're almost all the way around. Yeah. There's more resources here. By the way, this is where we, where we can drop things off. So if we had resources, it would drop off automatically in here. Um, but that's it. So let's go back to the Nimbatus. So we got some of the red resources, 50. That's good. 
All right, when you see a sparkling uh, location like this one, it means that there's something special there. I like special things. Try clicking this one to see what it is. All right. So there's a, oh, it's a garage. Okay, try traveling there. Uh oh, <laughs> oh no. The corp has caught up with you and opens fire. Uh, a few shots hit you and manage to penetrate the hull. You manage to escape once more and the enormous ship loses sight of you for now. In garages, you can repair and upgrade the new Batus using an obtainium. <laughs> okay. And the red ore. So the red ore is on obtainium and the yellow must be trinium or titanium or whatever it was. The red ore received the red ore you received as reward in the previous Right now you only have enough on obtainium to repair some of the damage to your hull. If hull integrity drops to zero, the Nimbatus and the game are lost. So repairing it is always a good idea. Okay. Click on the repair button to spend the unobtainium and repair the Nimbatu's hull. So right now we have a hull of two. So that just increased it to one. Okay, so that's cool. Looks like we can have, let's say, shows more information of the galaxy map, increases the amount of drone parts that can be deployed for free. That's always good. Decreases threat increase when traveling Shows you more information on the minimap and fabrication decreases deploy costs per drone part. Cool. All right. So anything else to see here? I don't think so. Good job. Now all that remains is clicking on that wormhole to travel through it and enter the next galaxy. All right, here we go. So I guess this is out of the tutorial now. So that was the tutorial galaxy. And we should go into the main game now connecting to ground control connection to ground control failed restarting connection attempt connecting to ground control failed again initiating manual control system all right please enter your user credentials okay so here's where we pick our pilot and this is about as far as I got in my first initial playthrough so I don't know what would be good, but I think I'm going to go with definitely not this one, only recommended for expert players. So you can kind of see what it gives you down here. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go with minor. Uh, that's one the one I did before because I will have a decent amount of mining prowess, I guess. <laughs> 100% resource mining efficiency, improved drill, collects resources. So we will get, and you can see down here is the things that we will get. Yeah, so the, the ones that are bigger than the other ones. Yeah, so you can see that. So we will get a resource tank and a giga drill, which improved drill collects resources. So we'll get that. We'll get those two things. So I think that is the way to go here. So that's what I'm going to do. Minor it is. So we got some unobtainium by going through the wormhole. And our threat levels are going down to zero. Very nice. All right, so here is our first real mission. Locate the black box. So this is gonna be just the same as the other one. But what I wanna do here is before I do that is I'm going to, I'm going to update the drone. So visit location. All right, so locate the black box. And this is basically what we did before. Oh, so we have to create a new drone. Okay, so we're going to create a whole new drone here. We're going to do the same thing as we did before because that seems to work out pretty well. So let's do that. And do we want to put these maybe on here instead? We'll test it out. 
So I think to actually attach them instead of to the drone core, I think the way, yeah, so we have to release it and we can do that. So you have a piece that you're doing if we wanted to, to reattach to the drone core, hover over that, let the mouse button go, and then it'll be attached to that. But if we want to do it to something else, we click on that, let the mouse button go, and it'll attach to that. So that is how that works. Just like that. All right, and then, oh, we need fuel tanks. So we have these small fuel tanks. Probably only the two will be fine, I think. And I do want to put on one more small thruster in the front so we can reverse. Just kind of like that. Kind of like that. So that'll allow us to reverse. And that we can put the key S, that's key, and these are right, right? Yeah, so A, D, and W. So those are all good. Okay, with that, then, let's go ahead and put on at least one of these. And let's hook it to that so it'll come off of that. Because I don't think we're going to have too many enemies, but if we do, we'll do that. And I definitely want to put on some mining drills. Just like so. I think I want to bring it out just a little bit, like that. Stick another one just here. Is that right? Yeah. No, this one's out a little bit more, I think, down there. Yeah. Yeah, we will need to shoot something because we do need to shoot those boxes. I forgot about that. We do have another weapon here. Uh, but I think the one is good for now. Well, let's just do two. Let's just do how we had it before. Do that configuration. Now this is going to cost us some resources to launch, I think. Okay, so it'll, it'll cost us a little bit of resources. I'm not really sure how much, but it'll cost us a little bit. These, what we're going to do... Oh, we also need tank. So, you know what, I'm going to do a little bit different here. So let's just delete that and delete that. And then delete this. We will put a tank here and a tank here. I think that'll work. And then we will do these just like this, then another one here, like so, and then see one battery here, and then we'll just do one gun here, just like that. I think that'll that'll work. Let's test this out a little bit. I think. Oh, we do need to. So that'll be connected to the left mouse button. This one will be, and that one will be. Let me... I think maybe the right mouse button for these. I think that'll work. Let's give this a try. Let's see what we got. So there's, <laughs> there's our drills. There's our gun. I like it. All right, how does it, it's a little, it's a little mm, slow on the turn. So I think we're gonna put these out a little bit. So let's do that. Let's go ahead and put these a little bit more so they have more of a uh, influence on the turning. But these, uh, you know what? I know, let's just angle them in. Cause I don't want them to be I don't want the ship to be too wide. Just angle them in like that. Is that correct? Straight one, two, three. Straight one, two, three. And 
I think that one... Okay, let's just see how that does. Maybe that'll make it turn a little bit better. Not really. <laughs> Not really. Okay, we'll improve on that later, I think. But I think for now we should be good. Or, no, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Actually, let's take these. Let's do this. Yeah, so that may work a little bit better, maybe. Yeah, let's see how that works. Yeah, it's a little bit better. Not great. Not super fantastic, but we'll go with it. Yeah, it should be good. Okay. VOT is good. Alright, so let's launch and see what we get. Yeah, so we have to expend a little bit of resources, but that's okay. It's just negative five. With the drills up front, we should be able to get more resources to replace that. All right. So let's see what we got here. We're gonna locate the black box again, but I did want to Oh, uh, so that's kind of cool. So that's what the drills do, so you can drill right into the side here. Although I think I'm taking damage when I hit, so we're, we're going to need to reconfigure those a little bit. <laughs> Pull them in a little bit, I think. And we definitely need to work on... Uh, we got a little resources there. We definitely need to work on the <laughs> steering and whatnot. There's some red resources over there. Some unobtainium. We'll take that. All right, so let's look for these black boxes here. Oh, there's one right there. Ooh, there's a bunch of resources right there. I want that. Uh. Oh, <laughs> I think that damaged me a little bit. Yeah, this is this is not a good design. Not great, but it's getting the job done. It'll work. It'll work. We'll go with it. Okay, so let us go, I see one right there, so let's go and get that and see if we can't get the black box there. Come back. <laughs> Taking a little bit longer to shoot at it. All right, so nothing there. Got another one here. Nothing there. Ooh, we got some resources over here. Oh, got a something. Hey, no, no, no. Ah, what was that? <laughs> something was attacking us. I didn't even notice it. Let's 
All right, we'll grab some of this stuff here. Our tanks are almost full, as you can see. Well, one tank is full, so we still have one more tank to go. So I gotta look out for enemies, apparently. Is there anything down there? Nope. Oh, this ship is super sluggish. <laughs> We got some boxes down there. I wonder, can I actually do it with the... Oh, we can do it with the drills. But I don't want to just fire at them for now. But the, the drills will damage them. Okay, so we located the black box. Cool. Is there anything in here? Negative. I don't know if it's worth getting these here. I don't think there's anything going to be in there. But I'm not sure. I think actually I can. I might be able to bring it back to the what you call it here. And, but I would have to have some sort of tractor beam maybe or something like that. Maybe I can... Bring it to the resource gatherer here. Let's just go to that real quick. I wonder how much the weight of the resources and the tanks are slowing us down as well. How much that actually contributes to the weight distribution. All right, so there we go. So we have some more unobtainium, and I think we get a little bit of the other resource there, the yellow resource, and we're just going to go back. I think we're, we're good. And what do we get? We got a bigger battery, large battery, and what is this? The bio rocket launcher. Ooh, I like that. I think we're going to have to try that out. <laughs> Most definitely. Very nice. All right, so we've done this one. So that status is complete. Then there's this one here, which is the destroy the core, core transmitter. Hmm. And we're gonna get a common weapon and a small battery from that. All right, so I think what I'm gonna do is let's travel over here. And our threat level is only 11.5, so we're good. But I definitely want to edit this guy. So I think I think let's go ahead and pull this in just a little bit. Pull this one in a little bit as well. So that should help with that. And we have two more turning thrusters. So let's go ahead and put our standard ones on here, like this, like we usually do. Here we want to reassign these. These are going to be A, A, D, D, but I want to put these up here. So if I lose these back here, we'll still have a little bit of maneuvering thrusters here. Okay, let's see. Yeah, that's working. That's working. Yeah, that'll work. That will work. All right, let's get out of here. Let's go back and let's hopefully this time we get it. Cuz our threat level is going up here. All right, let's try this one more time. 
And I think, let's see if I can't get this other guy out first. I'm probably wasting some resources there, but I want to get this gun out of the way first here before I do anything. There we go. All right, so you're out of the way. And now I wonder what the best way to get these other guys out are is going to be here. I don't think a full frontal attack is going to work. <laughs> so I think I may want to come from behind, or underneath them. Maybe give them like a choke point of some some sort. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Because these guys are going, yeah, see, now they're coming to come after me. But if I can get them, like, one at a time here. Maybe do a little choke point. Like that. Hopefully. Yeah, there's one. Two, three. Nice. Got them. And just one of my drills are gone. And there's another enemy up there, but I want to get this out of the way. There we go. Nice. Nice. No, I don't want to get stuck. <laughs> okay. I need reverse thrusters definitely on this thing. Get out of it. Yeah, so let's kind of try to get our bearings here. There we go. So if I work on it just a little bit like that, should be able to get out. Maybe get us some a little bit of resources at the same time. Okay, so all right, so let's just we did the mission, so let's go ahead and go back to the Nimbatus. And what do we get? Got a small battery and cryogenic sniper. Hmm, very interesting. All right, guys, we're gonna leave it there though. And I hope you enjoyed. I will be back with more Numbatus in a very short time, uh, probably next week. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys enjoyed, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you want to be notified when there's more, go ahead and hit that subscribe button because there will definitely be a ton more. So anyways, hope everybody's staying safe and doing well. Bye for now.